All right, this is part two of how to solve those comparative advantage or gains from trade models. In the first part, we looked at just the PPFs and the charts with the information that was given to you. Now we're gonna take that information and calculate the opportunity costs. So it's really easy if you just look at the goods that each country can specialize in. So forget about these middle things and just look at 63 apples, zero papayas, 21 papayas, zero apples. And this trick only works if the PPF is linear, but 99% of the time, the PPF will be linear in your introductory classes. So get rid of those intermediary steps. And now, to calculate the opportunity cost, what you have to do is start with the line, the opportunity cost, and then plug in your number. So for the US, let's say 63 apples. The opportunity cost of 63 apples is 21 papayas. So we have the opportunity cost of 63 apples is 21 papayas. But now we want to find out what the opportunity cost of one apple is. So write the same line over again. The opportunity cost of one apple. So in order to get this, we need to divide both sides by 63. So it's 21 over 63 papayas. And what is 21 over 63? Well, 21 over 63 is one third. So we get the final answer of the opportunity cost of one apple is one third of a papaya. So in order to get one apple, we have to give up one third of a papaya. Now we can flip it the other way around and we can start with the OC of 21 papayas equals 63 apples. Do the same process as before, divide both sides by 21, so we get OC of 1 papaya equals 63 over 21 apples or 3 apples. So the opportunity cost of one papaya in the U.S. is three apples, and that's a very easy trick to get this done. Um, you can also notice here that the opportunity cost of the related goods are just the inverses of each other. So that's a very handy trick to keep in mind to make sure you did the problems correctly. So now we've done the opportunity cost for the U.S. Let's now look at calculating the opportunity cost for Mexico. All right, so when we consider the opportunity cost looking at Mexico as a country, we'll start with apples. We had 12 apples equal, equals 24 papayas. Divide both sides by 12, so you get the opportunity cost of one apple is 24 over 12 papayas. You can simplify that. Get the opportunity cost of one apple is two papayas. Then to just use our trick from before, let's do it the other way. The OC, opportunity cost of 24 papayas, is 12 apples. Divide both sides by that 24 to get the OC of one papaya equals 12 over 24 apples or the OC of one papaya or the opportunity cost of a papaya is half an apple. And again, you can see that they're just the inverse of each other. Here, the opportunity cost is two here, the opportunity cost is a half. So that's good. We've been able to figure out the opportunity costs. In the next video, we'll decide who has the comparative advantage and solve for trade and the gains from trade.